Now, this morning, if, you, uh, well, if you're a little bit hungry and you don't have time to grab some grub, well, Catron is whipping up some simple morning time scones the perfect way. And uh, it is a, a treat for us this morning <laughs> because on Taoiseach has join decided us to join us to show us his culinary skills this morning. Good morning to you, Taoiseach. They were having a chat about... Um, what was her name? Monica Sheridan. Monica Sheridan. Yeah, yeah. Years yeah. ago. That's years and years ago. ago. And Cody McKenna and Nevin McGuire. And, and Nevin McGuire. Oh, yeah, they're your they're three yeah. favourites, are they? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Now, I'm Captain young, will be your new favourite after today. I'll be after this. Yeah. Right. <laughs> now, in here, I've put 225 grams, that's eight ounces, of our autumn self-raising flour. And you don't always sieve the flour, but you get a better scone if you sieve it beforehand to get more air into the mixture. So to that, I'm going to add a pinch of salt and a tablespoonful of caster sugar. Now, if you don't, he's always giving out to me about the sugar, teacher. Yeah. So no, if you don't you want bring to... Bring your sugar down. <laughs> bring the your sugar, sugar down levels, you Your sugar level should be down. Okay. Oh, now, I, I just like mix those ingredients together, lifting as you do so that you get air into the scones. And then here we have... 50 grams, two ounces. Oh, that's her to get air. Oh, no, it's in the scones. Oh, she's she's been doing it for years. Too would, you, long. would you ever get time to cook, or do you cook at all? No, uh, I, I, I could destroy any kitchen. <laughs> you would not. <laughs> <laughs> Fanula would do the cooking. She's a very good cook. Is she? She loves cooking. Yeah. She and what would, would, what, would her, what, would her what would your favourite ah, dish be? She does be? a variety of menus. She's got a lot of, a lot of, a lot of uh, cookery books there. You get some very uh, different dishes at times. She's a great cook. I, love right. I look forward to it. And do you get time then in home. the evening to get home and sit down and have... Rarely. 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 This business doesn't allow you to, be, mm. uh, to have any kind of a regular lifestyle. Really. But you must be able to cook something. Like you oh, asked I mean, me, could I cook an egg? Can I, you boil I, an egg? Of course you can boil an egg. And, uh, <laughs> I, I can cinderize the, cinderize the sausages, as the, <laughs> as the lads used to tell me at home. <laughs> now, when I rub the butter and margarine there through the dry ingredients, gentlemen, mm -hmm. I've just added now 150 ml, that's a quarter pint of milk. Mm. And a nice soft dough is important for a light scone, OK? Yeah, Not too dry or too milk. heavy, right? Yeah. Now, the secret in a nice, well-risen scone is to preheat your tin. So I have the tin there, lightly dusted with flour. Mm -hmm. In there, we're going to put into the oven to preheat it. Now, you can tell all this to Fanula now, and she'll oh, make she'll any lovely like scones. She 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 no, no. <laughs> a best of fingers. Out onto a lightly floured board, or table, just clean. And now just... I'm going to get bringing Catherine into the doll. Oh, I'm 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 telling you, Catherine will be into the doll <laughs> making scones for <laughs> the wall. Lighter scones. <laughs> no, lighter nearly scones. Now, just lightly knead it until the crack. The reason we need is to introduce air and to remove cracks from the dough. So we just press it down then to about a half an inch in thickness. Mm -hmm. Then take your cutter. When you're cutting the scones, don't twist the cutter. Stab it into the dough. Get a better scone. So there we go. Look at that. So we do Look all this that. now. So, Catherine, you're going to be in the doll next week now doing this. Yeah. Well, during yeah. question time. One each, one each here, yeah? One yeah, we've each only got there for one, one, for, and one for look. <laughs> <laughs> one for look always. The baker's dozen, 13. <laughs> so now we just yeah. bring these together. Would you like a nice scone, you would? Yeah. Well, I think we'll have oh, a yeah. bit of a scone. Yeah. Now, there we go. So would you, are you a healthy breakfast man? Absolutely. Yeah, Good. what would you... Porridge in the morning. Porridge every morning. Do you Flavins put some? Oatlets, yeah. Do you put some stuff into yeah, it? Don't mention, don't whatever, don't banana or napa, yeah. whatever. Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's the no. competition. Six thirty every morning. Six thirty. Mm -hmm. wow. A bowl of porridge bar. every morning. Mm -hmm. Very good. Sets you up for the. No, and then you, you like your walking and your cycling. Okay. And so you, you, you try to keep fit. Don't get much of a chance weekends, mm. uh, but sometimes they go as well for other other other, other reasons, mm. other occasions you have to attend to. So. Uh, but well, you can't get even a chance to sit and watch a bit of TV or anything like that. Really, to be honest with you, right. Alan, really. I know. Uh, you record you didn't watch the start of Big Brother last night. <laughs> <laughs> there was a huge response to it, I must say. I was surprised. I have, visit, I have to go and visit the president on a regular basis to uh, keep him abreast of political developments and legislation. And that. So it was in Orson Uthron yesterday. Last night. Yeah, All absolutely. Right. Now, into a preheat, onto the hot tin, preheated mm -hmm. oven, 400 Fahrenheit, that's 200 centigrade gas, Mark 6. Take them out of the oven into a clean tea towel Look and turn them upside down. Now see all the upside tips down. you're getting. Yep. Yeah, there upside you go. down. Bottoms up. Flat on bottoms up. <laughs> exactly. Flat on the board or the table so that the crust yeah. gets nice and soft. So now we just roll them over for a few minutes. Did you leave them out to go cold, Catherine? Well, now you like them a bit warm, don't you? Yeah, I like that. I do like them a bit warm. A bit warm with butter so we can... Serve them up now whenever we've got some. Would you we'll like? Would you like to start a cooler trying? One or a, hot one? A, a cooler one or a hot one? That's probably oh, too I, hot. I, I, the, uh, these these are, have only been out, out about ten minutes, so okay. these are nice. They're if you'd like to, one. you take one there. There you go. Here. Yeah, yeah, work away. Okay. Tea or coffee? 
Uh, coffee for me, coffee, please. Please, please, for the Taoiseach. <laughs> coffee for the Taoiseach. Coffee for the Taoiseach. Somebody, <laughs> somebody yeah. very quickly get a coffee. <laughs> yeah. See? No, this looks, very, this looks very light and airy, uh, Catherine. Thank uh, you very much, Richard. That's what it's supposed to be, yep. I can, I, can, I can see the way you, uh, the, you mix get it up the there. Get the air in. Get the air in. Now, I'm telling you, Vanilla's watching this okay. now, and she, he's going to be having scones for the next week. Say, That's great. Great news. Just like this. And you, would you like a little jam, jam or cream? cream? No, a little bit of jam. I say. Yes, I uh, suppose a little I, bit of jam. I, I, You're healthy. Like You've really had your porridge and everything, yeah. This is raspberry jam? Yeah, raspberry jam. Did you make that as well, Catherine? Best Irish my raspberries, yes. <laughs> yeah, well... Oh, she does everything from scratch here. There's a lovely we lady do? down in, in Kildare, Marjorie, who sends me uh, a few pots of raspberry jam every year. Go on. No. And she comes up on the train with him. So, Marjorie, if you're watching, um, well, thanks Marjorie, for that. Well, Marjorie, well done. <laughs> now you'll, so have to start, you'll have to start sending in to some scones nice some the scones into, into, the the into, the, yes. into the office. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Lovely. Thank you. Well done. Great meal, uh, Marjorie. That's nice. great. Now. Okay, we'll, we'll bring you, we'll, we'll leave these with you and you can take them off with you. <laughs> <laughs> you can give them to whoever you want today. <laughs> we'll give them, Alan, to the... Um, uh, to the yeah. What other ministers now do you think would like these? the office. Yeah, on no, the you office. Have to, you have to start off the cabinet every stuff. That's not really working. I love it. <laughs> you don't want them going round overfed. <laughs> no, you wouldn't want that. You wouldn't want that. <laughs> Listen, and thank you very much for joining Actually, us yeah, here this wait. morning. It's been a, a real pleasure. Thank, thank, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you so much, Tisha. Could I meet I'll tell my two favourite chefs, Claude and Levin. And you're now the third favourite chef. You're right up at the right top. You're right up there now. Oh, God, that's great. Now, don't forget, as always, we have our viewers online to choose what Catherine bakes next week. The choice is between mini quiches or First Communion log cake. So go on to our Facebook page now and cast your vote. What do you think, mini quiches or log cake? I'd say the crisp communion cake, because communion is Do you like, a, do you like a nice quiche? Yeah, the, the, cakes. First communion. the cakes because of the communion. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's the month for the communion, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. They certainly is. Okay, Great thank stuff. you all very much. Uh, stay tuned. We have lots more of Ireland again. We'll see you in a few minutes.